Now in Good Morning Northwest, votes are still being counted. But so far, voters reject school bonds but approve levies. We have results and how they'll affect local districts and students. Another morning of fog into our Spokane metro area. We are going to see some sunshine and then we're going to see a little bit of snow. We'll have the timing on all of that coming your way. The dead fish mystery. Why are thousands washing up on local riverbanks? watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks for being with us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Natalie Grant. It is Wednesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's toss things over to Mark Peterson here for a look at our forecast, starting off with a foggy morning. Yeah, again, downtown Spokane and some of the surrounding areas, not as widespread as it was yesterday, but we definitely see that fog. Temperatures on the cold side. We're sitting at 25 degrees. Winds are light. We are going to improve things, but this is the area of, again, that dense fog advisory we have. Uh, from Davenport all the way up to Deer Park and then south. So again, in our area, we're going to see a chilly Valentine's Day and the four things you need. Mostly sunny throughout parts of today. Later on tonight, we're going to get light snow an inch or less. And then Friday, we rebound. We're going to get a little warmer. We're going to have sunshine. The winter weather advisory does not include Spokane or Coeur d'Alene, but it does include much of the mountains of North Idaho, Montana, down into the Palouse, where they're figuring any Anywhere from one to four inches of snow. That's going to be tonight into tomorrow. Waking up to very cool temperatures into the valley, 22 degrees, Deer Park 25, 22 into Spangle and into Cheney. So again, cold conditions out there. Here's your Valentine's Day forecast. Hearts are plenty. Uh, temperatures in the mid-20s to start. We're going to end up into the mid-30s. We are going to see sunshine today, but we're not going to see that light snow until maybe 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Mark, thanks. Voters are saying yes to school levies, but no to bonds. An election night watch party turned very solemn for Spokane Public Schools as results started coming in. There are still votes to be counted today, but right now the district's $200 million bond appears to be failing. It needs a super majority of 60% to pass. It only has a little more than 54% right now. For the past 26 years, Spokane has approved every SPS bond and levy. That has gone before voters, but last night, SPS had its first rejected, a rejection. This is Superintendent Dr. Adam Swinyard. What you're seeing tonight is uh, the um, unbelievable increase in assessed value is hurting all parts of our community. Inflation is hurting all parts of our community. Sadly, that is now touching our kids. And he adds the district will consider other options to propose the bond again for the next election. And despite the bond's rejection, early results show more than half of voters said yes to replacement levies. And that levy would help fund programs and operation expenses like nurses, counselors, technology, athletics, and advanced courses. It'll cost taxpayers living in the district $250 per $1,000 of assessed property value each year. The Breaking Now desk, we continue to follow details on inflation and how it affects you and your family. Now, as you just heard, the superintendent of Spokane Public Schools says inflation is one of the reasons why the district's bond is currently failing and that inflation is affecting kids. The latest consumer price index shows inflation last month was worse than expected, and that means rising inflation will continue to impact your wallet. From the grocery store to housing and transportation, Americans are still paying the price for rising inflation. Prices were 3.1% higher in January compared to a year ago, which was worse than analysts expected. In response, the Dow plunging 500 points, rent and housing costs increased 0.6%. That's a major driver of inflation. Prices for many groceries also on the rise, including cereal and beverages. Getting behind the wheel of a car also more expensive. A lot more to uh, to own a uh, to purchase a car, particularly a new vehicle, and because of that, it costs a lot more to get insurance on a car. Since January 2020, just before the pandemic, grocery prices are up 25 percent. Beef prices could hit a record high this year due to bad weather and feed costs. And to keep up with the cost of living, more workers are pushing for higher wages. Flight attendants picketed yesterday. Those at Alaska Airlines have voted to authorize a strike. And today, Uber, Lyft and DoorDash drivers are planning to strike, demanding higher pay. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now.
Sydney, thanks. Well, early returns show Central Valley's Operation Levy passing with 52% voting yes. This proposition would pay for teachers, special education, nurses, counselors, music, athletics, and extracurriculars, and cost taxpayers almost $44 million next year. For Central Valley's safety and faculty at Levy, and facility at Levy, Levy rather, the early results showing it is passing with 51% voting yes. Proposition two is asking for seven million dollars, which would be used to create secure entrances, repair roofs, improve heating and cooling, enhance playgrounds, and upgrade technology. Central Valley Superintendent John Parker says the district is cautiously optimistic about the final result. We are right now, Peter, very cautiously optimistic. Uh, we know that it's kind of a razor thin margin, but it's positive nonetheless. Uh, we will take that. Now, Parker says if levies fail, the district will consider options for reduction and cuts to try again for the next elections. And But there may are still many ballots left to be counted. The election will not be certified until February 23rd. Now, voters in the growing Cheney School District had to decide on two different levies and a $72 million bond. The bond would allow the district to build a new elementary school at Airway Heights and make improvements at other schools. But right now, the bond appears to be failing. It needs a 60% supermajority to pass. Currently, only 54% are in favor. Cheney's $16 million levy to pay for school safety, athletics, and arts, and special education appears to be passing with 55% of voting yes. Again, that needs a simple majority. And the $740,000 technology levy is passing right now as well with 58% of the vote. It also needs a simple majority. Cheney Communications Coordinator Jenna Larson says we are excited to share that our two levy replacements on tonight's ballot appear to be approved by voters. She goes on to say... We look forward to the ballot count and remain hopeful that the incoming votes will support our bond measure. Voters in the Mead School District were asked to approve a $29 million levy for nurses, counselors, athletics, and extracurricular activities. Right now, it's narrowly passing with just under 52% of that vote. The city of Spokane's Measure 1 is an increase of property taxes to fund the city's libraries. More than 55% of voters saying yes to the library levy. The city's Measure 2 would create a new process for city, uh, city council redistricting with stricter requirements around districting commissioners. It's passing by a wide margin with 67% saying yes. We'll have more election results for you throughout this broadcast, but you can see the full list if you want to right now. It's on KXLY.com. Well, this election kicks off a busy 2024 for voters. It's the first of five elections. People in Spokane County will be voting in just this year. And it's the first election since the attack on democracy we saw back in November, with an envelope of white powder containing fentanyl being sent to the Spokane County Elections Office, forcing an evacuation in the middle of the counting process and putting election security controls to the test. We have a lot of different controls and different types of controls in place to make sure that once your ballot comes through our door, that it is safe and secure, that it's going to be counted properly, and we're going to be able to get those results out properly counted. Now in that situation, everything turned out okay, but it did show how easily the election process can be disrupted. So what are the controls we already have in place to protect that process? And how can you feel your vote is safe? Tomorrow, I'm taking an inside look to bring you the answers. You can watch my special report right here on Good Morning Northwest. Your time right now, 6.08. And it is a frosty morning. It is a really foggy morning. You're going to be dealing with all kinds of that this morning. And of course, then we're going to have snow moving in later on tonight into tomorrow. We're expecting about an inch, but the Palouse all the way across Ritzville, Moses Lake, Tri-Cities, south of I-90, they're going to get the higher amounts. So we're going to talk about that coming up. But yeah, it's a chilly, foggy start. We're going to have your full forecast in just a little bit. A brand new thrift store opening today in Spokane Valley is full of cool vintage items like this. We're telling you more coming up on Good Morning Northwest. And thousands of dead fish found in local rivers. The mystery and who's investigating. It's coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 
combination of fun and performance is why Kylie and I are excited to show you the Subaru Crosstrek. The all-wheel drive Crosstrek offers an available 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine, giving you extra performance and power unlike anything on or off the road. There's no shortage of space for passengers and a surprising amount of cargo room for your gear. The Crosstrek now offers an 11.6 inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto integration. Check out the Subaru Crosstrek and receive no problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. As a puck out front, another shot, a score by Ekstrom as Hagton finds him cutting to the net and right off the face off, the Chiefs strike again. Saturday, February 17th in the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena, your Spokane Chiefs play the Tri-City Americans, and it's our Numerica Hockey Helmet Bank Giveaway. The first 2,000 fans receive a Chiefs piggy bank courtesy of Numerica Credit Union. That's Saturday, February 17th, puck drops at 6.05. For tickets, go to SpokaneChiefs.com. Our motto here at Holiday Heating is fixed right or it's free. That means that we'll get the job done right the first time, and if we don't... We will own up to that and we will take care of it for you for free. Fixed right or it's free means that we are accountable for the 100% satisfaction of our customers. We'll come back and get the job done and with no additional charge to the customer. We are humans and we do make mistakes, but we are here to make it right and make sure our customers know that. It's a great time to improve your sleep and pay less during the President's Day mattress event at Walker's. Enjoy the best selection of all your favorite mattress brands. And with select eye comfort or Beautyrest Black Hybrid mattress purchases, you'll get up to $300 of free furniture plus a $100 prepaid MasterCard, as well as five years no interest financing. Making it the perfect time to improve your sleep for less. This week at all Walker's Furniture Locations. It's time to leap into savings this February at both Cal Superstores in Airway Heights and Coeur d'Alene as Cal Cars is offering a super deal where you can bring your tax return in and Cal will help match it up to $2,000. Plus, when you come in and take a test drive, you'll qualify to win $250,000 on February 29th. It's the perfect chance to get a new set of wheels for less with a $2,000 tax match this week at Cal. Sign up for the 4 News Now Brainstorm at KXLY.com. It's 612. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Voters in a New York special election have decided who will fill the spot of former Congressman George Santos. And it's resulted in a flipped seat. Democrat Tom Swayze will go back to Congress, defeating Maisie Pillip. Swayze held a congressional seat for the three terms before giving it up to a failed run for New York governor in 2022. The race is seen at, as a litmus test on how voters view national issues, including border security, abortion, and crime. Now his win narrows the already slim majority for Republicans in the House. For the first time in 30 years, flight attendants at Alaska Airlines have voted to authorize a strike. An actual walkout is unlikely, though, because of rules governing airline workers. The Association of Flight Attendants says some members of cabin crews haven't seen raises in five years. And on this, uh, well, beautiful Wednesday morning, <laughs> foggy, uh, we're going to see that in places. It is a very chilly start to the day, so wear those layers. Grab your shade. Sun's coming out. 36 the high today. Thousands of dead fish turned up near Little Falls and along Lake Dams last week. So the Spokane Riverkeeper notified tribal fisheries, which took samples and then sent them off to be tested. The Riverkeeper says it's never seen anything like this before. We do know that fish kills represent some problems with the river, right? Either mismanagement or water quality and water pollution issues. And so we take this very seriously. It's a big problem. The fish have been sent off for testing and results should be coming back this week. Your Good Morning Northwest Time, 613. But there is a new thrift store with a special mission. Allison Martinez is there in Spokane Valley showing us around just ahead. And as we send you off to break, here's a look at more of last night's election results. Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino brings you actor and comedian Tracy Morgan to Spokane Live. Saturday, February 24th. Tickets are available online now at SpokaneTribeCasino.com. Entertainment without limits. We're putting our foot down to keep our feet up, like way up, with Lazy Boy. We worked overtime, 
Now it's TV time. It's the President's Day sale. Save 30% on everything. Lazy Boy. Long live the lazy. Pelican, the water wizard of Oz. Magical moments. Snowy adventures. Warming up. Making memories. A winter wonderland. The perfect close-by getaway this winter is Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Find countless ways to play and plan your escape at cdawinter.com. Anything else? Yeah, can I get some napkins? Sure, that'll be one dollar. For a napkin? Ridiculous, right? You know what else doesn't make sense? Some people are still paying for their checking accounts. In some places it's 12 bucks a month. At P1FCU, we believe some things should just be free. Open your Ascend checking with tons of great benefits at p1fcu.org slash free. It's the Great Rate Reduction Sale this week at Dishman Dodge Ram Chrysler Jeep. And that means we are rolling back the interest rate to our lowest level in years on our large selection of slightly used trucks, cars, and SUVs. Plus, with most vehicles sold, you'll get a three-month, 3,000-mile powertrain warranty. And with new shipments arriving daily, plus a 4.84 financing rate for 72 months, there's never been a better time to visit Dishman. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been North Idaho's premier flooring shop for over 30 years. From remodels to new construction, they've got your home or business covered from wall to wall. Their expert design team will work with you to find the perfect floor for your lifestyle and budget. They've got the lowest prices. From carpet and area rugs to hardwood, LVP and laminate, if you can dream it, they can floor it. Dream it. Design it. Live it. At Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls. Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino brings you actor and comedian Tracy sorry, Morgan to Probably Spokane to Live. I got like 8, Saturday, February 24th. Tickets are available online now at SpokaneTribeCasino.com. Entertainment without limits. 4 News Now is brought to you by Fairway Floor. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Welcome back. It is now 617. A new thrift store with a unique concept opens today. City Club is a membership-based store coming to Spokane Valley. Members are able to get clothes and household items for just 50 cents. And 4 News Now's Allison Martinez is live at City Club this morning to show a sneak peek of what you can expect inside the store. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. I'm here in Fiddy Club and we've changed rooms all morning long. We're in a completely new room filled with furniture, all priced at 50 cents. Behind me, we have a dartboard, an entire dining room set, couches, dressers, everything you can think of in this room for 50 cents. Now, I'm joined by Sean, who is the founder of Fiddy Club this morning. Tell me a little bit about your membership model and why it's so advantageous. Mm -hmm. So that membership model at 149 a year is for one person and we're calling it the plus one model. So we want to attach a membership to one person, but we want them to keep bringing back friends, family, people in the community that they can help and who could benefit from this. Amazing, so you pay $150, you can bring someone in that you wanna help out and purchase anything in here for 50 cents a piece, up to 250 items a month, is that right? That's correct. Yeah, amazing. Now, and in this room, we've been talking about it, there's so many specific valuable pieces priced at over $100 online that you can come in and grab. Well, this is so cool. Now, you're opening today. What do people need to know if they wanna come by? We're opening today. We have a limited amount of memberships available. We're going to slowly add to that. So you can tour the store today. Some people, up to 25 more people, will be able to get a membership. And then those who show up today will be put on our waiting list, and they will get that first call when we have a spot available. Amazing. And we have all the information on our website, kxly.com. Thanks for being with us. Back to you in studio. 
Allison, thanks so much. Look at the pink lights that are down there. Aww. You can barely see them through the fog. That's one Spokane Stadium all lit up pink for Valentine's Day. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. You can barely, I mean, luckily you can see it there, but Just you can lights. barely <laughs> see like headlights coming at you. Yeah, coming off five mile, it was clear as a bell. And then you come, come in down to the valley and boom. boom. Yeah, okay, so that's what we've got. Not only do we have the fog, but now we have winter weather advisories that are in effect south of Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, all the way into areas of the Palouse, extending all the way into Montana with heavier snows expected there. We're looking at three to four inches into the mountains. Currently, we're sitting at 25 in Deer Park, 22 in Dechini, 22 into the valley, downtown 24. It's just cold. Um, Coeur d'Alene, you're at 25 degrees. Good morning. Here's our forecast for the day. Uh, we're going to see temperatures uh, climbing up to 36 degrees. 39 is a normal high for this time of year. Overnight lows again, chilly tomorrow, 27. Again, it's a frosty start if you parked outside. You're going to want to go outside and get those windows cleared. All right, I want to show you this. Now, it's a big picture, right? Here is the next system coming our way. So it's coming off the Pacific, and we're seeing the southwest flow starting to push it up as it moves ashore. So we look at the timing of that. So it's going to start into areas of, you know, the western part of Oregon and through Portland and then up into our area. That's going to be 4 or 5 o'clock into areas of the Tri-Cities, working its way up through Ritzville, then wrapping around. We'll see you tonight through tomorrow. Again, we're expecting an inch and then another round for tomorrow afternoon of some snow as that thing kicks out. And it's going to do those big fat flakes because it's going to be warming up. Then it's going to be dry and then another round of showers coming in on Sunday because of the system that's beside that. So we're going to get a bit of a break between the two. Today, we're going to have temperatures in the mid-30s through our area, 32 up into Sandpoint, 36 Colville, low 40s uh, into Ritzville, Moses Lake. And again, rain coming into the Tri-Cities, then changing over to snow later on. So we're going to see some winter driving uh, into especially the higher elevations. Tomorrow, 32 for the high, so that's where we get those afternoon snow showers. And then around 40, Friday, Saturday should be dry out, wow. drying out. That'll be nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. got a little bit of everything coming our way today. Looks wow. like it. Thanks, Mark. It's 621. In 2008, Low by Flo Rida and T-Pain was the most popular song on the radio, and the dark night was sweeping the nation's theaters. But it was also the last time the Washington State Cougars made a March Madness appearance. However, that streak could end soon. Julian Minnesota will tell us more next in sports. Shorty got low, 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 low. <laughs> Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. When it's time to choose the right products for your new kitchen or bathroom, Ferguson Showroom Consultants are here to help. With the expertise to navigate even the most complex projects, our team will advise you on the latest products and innovative new features. We'll take care of the details so you can make the best choices for your home. At Ferguson, your project is our priority. Visit your local Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery to shop the best selection of brands like Monogram. Spokane Exercise Equipment is the Inland Northwest premier provider of top-of-the-line exercise and rehabilitation equipment. Once the Spokane Exercise Equipment technicians have finished setting up your new home gym, that's when the workout competition begins. Spokane Exercise Equipment has all you need to achieve your fitness goals. They offer delivery, installation, service, and maintenance for all residential and commercial customers. Visit them in downtown Spokane or go online to see their full line of products. Hi, I'm Robert Sacre. You may know me from my basketball career. But what you don't know is I'm a father of four, and life can get pretty chaotic. So that's why I'm getting a vasectomy in North Idaho Urology. So I can finally sit back and enjoy the madness. Vasectomy season is back. Scheduled today in North Idaho Urology. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve and we only get paid after you win. One call. That's all. 509-999-9999. YWCA's 42nd Women of Achievement Luncheon is March 15th at the Convention Center. We will be celebrating eight amazing women of achievement and the wise 121 years of service in Spokane. Visit ywcaspokane.org for tickets. 
Looking for a superior truck or SUV? Start right here with a GMC lineup. Each GMC has been designed for power and comfort, the safety features that come standard. The terrain has plenty of room for everyone and everything. Got toys? Maneuver them with ease and confidence with the Sierra and its class-leading trailer assistance technology. Test drive your GMC today at Becker Buick GMC, where you'll always be treated like family. Washington State is safely in the tournament, at least according to ESPN's projections, but the Cougars can't get too comfortable. They'll take on Cal, a team that beat them not too long ago in overtime on the road. Head coach Kyle Smith says there's still a lot of work to do if the Cougars want to solidify their tournament spot. And they want to kind of create their own history too. WSU is looking for its first NCAA tournament appearance since 2008. That was before the legendary Clay Thompson even stepped foot on campus. Oh, Pullman. It's neat to be a part of it, that, that you're part of the conversation this late in the season. Um, and, uh, you know, we played well at home. The Cougars are coming off their first road sweep of the Oregon school since 2009. Combine that with wins over Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and Boise State have placed WSU as a projected nine seed, according to ESPN's Bracketology. We haven't really had that total letdown. You know, I thought first first 10 minutes at Oregon State, we turned it over and we're, we're a little out of character, but it's hard to do, man, on the road, so I've been really proud of these guys. WSU is one game behind Arizona for the top spot in the Pac-12. The Cougars will be getting every team's best shot the rest of the way, starting with Cal on Thursday. It's just uh, who's going to be able to bring it uh, again and deal with and make the adjustments from the first time. Tip-off against Cal is at 7 o'clock on Thursday right here in Pullman. Reporting in Pullman, Julian Mendenson, 4 News Now Sports. Your good morning, Northwest Time, 626. Spokane law enforcement shot and killed four people so far in 2024. And today, Mayor Lisa Brown will address this recent string of violence. What we know about her news conference coming up. And in a history-making vote, the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security impeached by the House. Sidney Charles is breaking down the next steps right after this break. And before we go to break, here's a first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America at 7. In this morning's GMA first look, what was supposed to be the cruise of a lifetime rerouted. So we're angry, we want to be heard, we want answers. It happened aboard a Norwegian cruise line, originally slated to travel around South America and then on to Paradise Bay, Antarctica. But after boarding, passenger Helen Midler noticed the trip's description name was changed to simply Round Trip of South America, and the itinerary had been altered. We are not going anywhere near mainland Antarctica, which is what we paid for. Norwegian Cruise Line tells ABC the ship did go to Antarctica, but instead of heading to Paradise Bay near the mainland, it instead went to Admiralty Bay off an island 200 miles further north. Passenger Eric Huang says this isn't what he signed up for. It's been largely a disappointment. So what can you do if your cruise itinerary unexpectedly changes? It's all coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Trevor Alt, ABC News, New York. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing. In as little as two weeks, Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your doctor about Dupixent, the most prescribed biologic for asthma. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Save your green! You heard it was a hit. You heard it was a smash. A wonder. A phenomenon. An international sensation. 
but you haven't heard them. Stop at First Interstate Center for the Arts, February 23rd and 24th. Get your tickets at broadwayspokane.com today. Go Chiefs, go! As a puck out front, another shot, a score by Extra as Hagton finds him cutting to the net and right off the faceoff, the Chiefs strike again. Saturday, February 17th in the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. Your Spokane Chiefs play the Tri-City Americans. And it's our Numerica Hockey Helmet Bank Giveaway. The first 2,000 fans receive a Chiefs piggy bank courtesy of Numerica Credit Union. That's Saturday, February 17th. Puck drops at 6.05. For tickets, go to SpokaneChiefs.com. We have a garage door that doesn't lift. So I went on Angie. It took me just a handful of minutes. So vendors who were knowledgeable, they did higher quality work. They wanted us to be happy with the work done as well. It is a beautiful <laughs> garage, I yes. have to say. Get started today at Angie.com. Fire threatens everything in its path. When it threatens our communities, we respond and we bring the fight to the front line. Find out more about serving your community part-time by visiting NationalGuard.com. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning, Northwest. Thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. Welcome to your Wednesday, Valentine's Day, February 14th. Let's check in with Mark on our first alert forecast. It's a foggy one. Yeah, there is no doubt about that. All you have to do is look out your window if you're downtown. We do have some dense fog and temperatures, 25 degrees. The fog is not as expansive as it was yesterday, but the potential on Highway 2 out towards Davenport North into Deer Park and south uh, through Cheney along I-90 is potential. So use caution. Also, winter weather advisories in effect. This is for areas south of Spokane and wrapping all the way up into North Idaho, expecting two to four inches into the mountains. Our four things you need to know this morning. It is a chilly start and a chilly day today. Mostly sunny this afternoon. That uh, fog advisory goes through 8 a.m. The sun should burn that off. Light snow coming in later on today. And then we'll have some snow Thursday night with sunshine for Friday. Right now it's cold. 25 in a Deer Park, 22 two into Cheney, the valley. We've got 26 into Coeur d'Alene. Your forecast today, yeah, we're going to warm up, but only into the mid-30s with sunshine throughout mid-morning and midday. Look for clouds coming in later on, and again, that chance of snow coming in 9, 10 o'clock. At the Breaking Now desk, for the first time in 150 years, the historic impeachment of a sitting cabinet member. The Republican-led House voted to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over his handling of the southern border. Now, the House voted to impeach him by a single vote yesterday, but the effort is expected to die in the Democratic-led House Senate, rather, where Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calls the case a sham and a new low for House Republicans. This is the second attempt by House Republicans to impeach Americas. Democrats, Republicans insist this all amounts to a simple policy disagreement, citing no evidence of high crime and misdemeanors. Now, the Department of Homeland Security has called the accusations baseless, saying if Republicans were serious about border security, they would pass the bipartisan border bill they helped negotiate. But last week, House Republicans rejected that deal. National security begins with border security. We have said that all along. House Speaker Mike Johnson is also vowing to block the new bipartisan national security bill passed yesterday in the Senate, which would deliver billions in aid to Ukraine and Israel. And back to Americas, the Senate is expected to receive the articles of impeachment from the House later this month. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. Well, this morning, we now know the man shot by two Spokane police officers downtown Monday afternoon has died. Police say they responded to reports of a suicidal man waving a knife at people on the sidewalks. Two officers eventually shot him. Now, that was the second deadly shooting involving Spokane police officers in the same day. And today, Mayor Lisa Brown will hold a press conference to address crime and other public safety concerns. Now, recent data shows violent crime in downtown Spokane, things like murder, rape, assault and robbery, it's actually down almost 30% in the last year. However, some people and business owners still feel uneasy following the latest shooting. Raul Mendoza works at a restaurant in downtown. He says he believes the area gets a bad reputation. It is shocking to just because the proximity of it all, it's so close, but 
overall, it, it was kind of unexpected just due to the fact that, like, you don't expect nobody getting shot around here. We will have a full wrap-up from Mayor Brown's press conference tonight on 4 News Now at 5 and 6. But you can watch it live if you'd like to by downloading the KXLY News app or KXLY Plus for free on your connected TV. A former employee of the Kettle Falls Early Learning Center remains inside the Stevens County Jail, arrested for kissing a kindergartner. Nathaniel Ford's arrest comes after another employee witnessed him touch the child inappropriately. He was arrested last Thursday for fourth degree assault with sexual motivation. A judge set his bail at $5,000. Now the Kettle Falls School District is apologizing for the incident. The district says all employees must pass a state and federal background check prior to being hired. The check on Ford apparently came back clear. He also passed a required boundary invasion training. A statement from all district from the district rather says it also review is reviewing ELC's video footage looking for any additional concerning behaviors. If any new information is discovered, parents and law enforcement will be notified immediately. Some parents are concerned that the district didn't notify them immediately after Ford was reported. You can read the full statement from the Kettle Falls School District right now on our website, kxly.com. Good morning, Northwest Time is now 6.35. Sure, love you waking up with us this morning on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Let's check in with Mark <laughs> Peterson here for a look at our forecast. Well, we're going to get snow into the mountains. We could see a light snow for tomorrow morning's commute starting tonight, an inch or so expected but we're gonna see much more to the south of us. So that's what we're tracking. That snow to the south and into the mountains. This morning, that's what you've got facing you downtown. We got fog. We're gonna have a full look at the forecast coming up. The investigation is finished, but there is still no clear answer on how the Oregon Road fire started. After the break, frustrations from the people who lost everything. We're at City Club in Spokane Valley. Now this new thrift store is filled with walls and walls of any item you can imagine. We're showing you a closer look coming up on Good Morning Northwest. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino brings you actor and comedian Tracy Morgan to Spokane Live. Saturday, February 24th. Tickets are available online now at SpokaneTribeCasino.com. Entertainment without limits. Fred's Appliance is your go-to destination for cutting-edge home appliances. Upgrade your kitchen with the all-new Bosch dishwasher line. In stock and on sale. Say goodbye to dirty dishes and hello to crystal clear results. With sleek design and advanced technology, Fred's Appliance and Bosch make a perfect pair for your kitchen. Visit us today and experience the future of dishwashing. Fred's Appliance, transforming the heart of your home. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Spring arrives early at the Spokane Home and Yard Show. Join us February 22nd through 25th at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center, presented by Jim Custer Enterprises. Mom's gonna love this. All right, kids, come on. It's time for bed. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Snuggles. Make breakfast special with the cocoa and hazelnutty goodness of Nutella. Now a joke from Yolk's Fresh Market. Why do artichokes love Valentine's Day? Because they have a heart. <laughs> Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Through early learning and other programs matched to the needs of families, community-minded enterprises helps overcome barriers. We have three locations. We create high-quality educational opportunities for our children to thrive in our classrooms. We have mental health consultants that come into our classrooms and work with our teachers one-on-one. -on -one. We are dedicated to enhancing our community to get our children ready for kindergarten and beyond. Numerica Cares for Kids is honored to donate $1,000 to support community-minded enterprises. This is how Numerica Cares for Kids. Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino brings you actor and comedian Tracy Morgan to Spokane Live. Saturday, February 24th. Tickets are available online now at SpokaneTribeCasino.com. Entertainment without limits. 
Good morning and welcome back. It's now 639. The Elk community has concerns about the Department of Natural Resources findings in the Oregon Road fire. Its report found no definitive cause for the fire that killed one person and burned more than 100 homes. Now, according to that investigation report, spontaneous combustion on someone's property sparked the flames that led to the destruction of thousands of acres. Fire investigators say a property owner told conflicting stories of embers falling into his yard before the fire started, which is concerning to several wildfires fire survivors. Cheryl Green says that she and her husband lost everything in the fire. This is where their three-story home once stood and now it's nothing but rubble and ash. She says she just wishes someone would own up to their mistake. It's months to come back and tell us we don't know. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion. Okay. Um, but he was right there with it. How weird that it spontaneously combusted with him right there with a water hose. <laughs> I don't know, it just doesn't add up. Another woman who lost everything in the fire says she feels like the community is paying for someone else's mistake. And with no definitive cause, she feels like the community is now being pushed to the side. In our 10 second takeaway on this Wednesday morning, yeah, we've got the fog in places, mainly downtown. It's gonna be a chilly start and a chilly finish. Light layers needed, your shades with sunshine this afternoon, 36 the high. A store with a fresh take on thrifting is now coming to Spokane Valley. Fitty Club is a membership-based thrift store that sells clothes and household items for just 50 cents. Profits from the store go toward the Reclaim Project, which helps men transition away from homelessness and addiction. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez is live at Fitty Club to show us all about this new store. Good morning. That's right. We're showing you everything Fitty Club has to offer, which is a lot. Every single wall in this store is filled with so many products. We have some vintage items behind me, pounds and pounds of clothes, electronics, really anything that you can think of. Now I'm joined by Sean, who is the owner this morning. Thank you so much for being with us. For people who have items at home that they want to donate, how can they do that? There's three ways to donate. So we have our drop-off location here. We have our drop-off location in West Central, and then they can call or text for a pickup, and all that information's on our website. Awesome. Now tell me about um, the pickup. So you have two drive-through drop-off locations, the one in West Central and here in Spokane Valley, and then you have a tote drive. Now tell me a little bit about that. We go into organizations, churches, businesses, and bring them totes. So nice, clean, stackable totes. We leave them there all the employees or members take them home fill them up bring them back one week later from us dropping them off we come back and take them all away yeah amazing such a great opportunity to kind of give back and maybe do a little teamwork people can just combine all of their items they want to donate and you can pick it up easy Absolutely. as that well we'll have more information on how you can join in with fitty club on our website kxly.com thanks for being with us back to you in studio Allison, thanks so much. Your time right now, 642. Thanks for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on your Valentine's morning. We have more coming your way right after this. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Shop Consign Furniture and Jewelry's President's Day Sale this Friday through Monday. Experience 25 to 30% off all new furniture, custom furniture, and pre-orders. If you don't see the price you like, make us an offer. Consign Furniture and Jewelry. Smart way to buy, easy way to sell. When it's time to choose the right products for your new kitchen or bathroom, Ferguson Showroom Consultants are here to help. With the expertise to navigate even the most complex projects, our team will advise you on the latest products and innovative new features. We'll take care of the details so you can make the best choices for your home. At Ferguson, your project is our priority. Visit your local Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery to shop the best selection of brands like Monogram. February's Extreme Team is women helping women. Inefficient use of space. They need more offices so that more women can be helped. That's what we're going to be doing. Women helping women. Join us. 4 News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. 2024 could be the most contentious election in American history. And here at home, we've already seen attempts to disrupt the process. I'm Natalie Grant with 4 News Now. What will be different in 2024? Watch my special report tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. This Valentine's, if you're searching for something tough, reliable, and exciting, then you need to visit Finley Downtown Toyota. 
This year, fall in love with a new RAV4 or Highlander, or maybe a Tundra or Tacoma truck. Plus, check out the sweet lease options available now. And if you're looking for a quality used vehicle, we've got hot buys available now and ready to roll. This February, fall in love with a new vehicle from Finley. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. Shop Consign Furniture and Jewelry's President Today Sale this Friday through Monday. Experience 25 to 30% off all new furniture, custom furniture, and pre-orders. If you don't see the price you like, make us an offer. Consign Furniture and Jewelry. Smart way to buy, easy way to sell. 4 News Now is brought to you by Whitworth University. Good morning and welcome back. It is now quarter till seven. Mark Peterson, our sweet, sweet friend, and the Extreme team are getting a head start on their next project, expanding the building for the Women Helping Women Fund to give the nonprofit a better space to meet and expand their services. Let's check in with Mark to get a look at the progress so far. We're at Women Helping Women Fund, and this is going to be the new office space. Now, we look at the before video, and yeah, we had this big, large room that was really not being used. That will now transition into a new office. So, Modern Drywall doing their best. We've got the walls up, we've got the door framed in, and they're rocking it, and they're doing a great job. This is going to allow Women Helping Women to serve more nonprofits, and they serve a ton right now. You know, through large grants, probably 20 each year, and then we also do Insta grants throughout the year. Um, so probably about 50 nonprofits. What you see now is all the construction underway, the electrical underway, Mountain States Electric and Modern Drywall teaming up today to get us a jump start on the project that starts Monday. I'm Mark Peterson for the Women Helping Women's Fund and of course this month's Extreme Team here for News Now. <laughs> I love what we learn all about the different organizations, too. Mm -hmm. That's really going to be the things. key. We have Women Helping Women Fund in there. They have one sub. Now they're going to have three nonprofits that are going to be in there so cool. with homes, mailing, business office, kitchen, meeting rooms, oh. all of that. It's going to be great. Good and it, star it. it starts Monday. Although it we got the wall up. Monday. It starts Monday. <laughs> so, yeah, we just, we, uh, Garco and, and Modern Drywall for coming in and just making it happen. Mountain States Electric got it's it all done. Awesome. It, it's going to be great. All right. Yep. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what's going on here. Dense fog advisory in effect. That is going to be until 8 a.m. because sun's coming up really at 658. And that should be burning off. But it's dense downtown. So caution advised. Now, winter weather is coming in to the low level and mid level elevations when you look at south of I-90 wrapping all the way up into parts of Montana. Anywhere from two to four inches of snow there. For us and Coeur d'Alene proper, about an inch potentially. And then we look at our current conditions. Oh, it's chilly. 22 into the valley. 25 into Deer Park. Spokane International 25. We had delays because of the fog yesterday. It doesn't look like that's happening today. Spangle, Cheney, both 22 degrees. So a much chillier start to the day throughout the region than we saw yesterday. Cheney was right in there at 22 degrees. We're going to warm up to 36. We're going to have fog to sunshine, sunshine to, well, darkness. And then following darkness, it'll be some light snow coming in tonight overnight again with uh, in untreated roadways, maybe some slippery conditions, 27 for the overnight low. But so those northeast winds gusting 10 to 20 miles an hour. We look at the forecast radar. We see it coming through Oregon throughout uh, the morning, the afternoon into the Tri-Cities. Dinner time, they're going to have rain changing over to snow. We're going to see that hit through us Thursday morning, so it could actually be light snow as you're driving in, and then it'll come back around Thursday afternoon with some more light snow, and then it'll kick out with sunshine for Friday and partly cloudy Saturday with rain and snow mixed, depending on timing and elevation, for Sunday. We're going to be in the mid-30s today. Grand Coulee, you're going to be at 41. OMAC, 39. Moses Lake, 42. So nobody's really warming up. 44 into the Tri-Cities if you've got to head south. Now, we are going to see temperatures heading south. Uh, Thursday, while we do have that pretty good chance of light snow in the region, we're only going to reach 32 degrees, so the conditions are perfect 
Friday, sunshine in 39, that's the melt off. And then partly cloudy in 41 for Saturday. Now, another round of showers for Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, we're into the mid 40s. We're into the mid 40s. And overnight lows down to around freezing. So a warming trend is coming our way. So again, fog, sunshine, darkness, snow, commute tomorrow morning, maybe some light snow as you come in, heavier amounts into the mountains, but really this is south of Spokane and then pushing into North Idaho. Okay. All right, there you go. Lots going on, but those mm -hmm. 40s, yeah. those will feel nice. All right, Mark, thank you very much. It's now 649. Your morning sprint is coming up next. Thanks so much for waking up with us on this Good Morning Northwest Valentine's Day morning. We'll be right back after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Kerner Furniture. You heard it was a hit. You heard it was a smash. A wonder. A phenomenon. An international sensation. But you haven't heard them. Get your tickets at BroadwaySpokane.com today. It's time to get up, get out, and get in a new Honda during Coeur d'Alene Honda's Way to Save event. Coeur d'Alene Honda has your vehicle now, in stock with special rates as low as 0% and cash allowances up to $2,300. Specials on all hybrids. Every new Honda and select pre-owned comes with our nationwide lifetime warranty at no extra cost. Appraisers on hand paying 110% of KBB fair trade value. So get up, get in, and save now at Coeur d'Alene Honda's Way to Save event. Hey Ben, the thermostat's acting up. You work for Bill's Heating and Air. You know how to fix this, right? I just do the commercials. Ben, the AC's broken. Come on, you work for Bill's. You must know something about this. Bro, I'm just their spokesperson. Dude, the furnace is so loud. You work for Bill's Heating. You can fix it, right? You do know I'm a basketball player, right? Bill's Heating and AC is offering financing as low as 0% for five years. Call today. For all your heating and cooling needs, leave it to the real professionals at Bill's. Save $1,200 on a stainless Samsung French door fridge at Fred's Appliance. On sale for only $9.99, Fred's has these in stock and ready for pickup or delivery. This family size Samsung French door gets great reviews for value, features, and design. Update your kitchen with a French door fridge that's fingerprint resistant and on sale for only $9.99. Save over 54%. Don't miss the savings at Fred's President's Day sale. I think at Hospice of Spokane, it's not just a job, it's a career, but it's also a passion. Nurses, the social workers, the chaplains, the health aides, they just do a phenomenal job and they get to know the clients. They don't come to treat just the client, they come to embrace the family as a whole. To serve with the region's number one hospice team, visit hospiceofspokane.org. What can you do with sensitive skin? Okay, what a day. Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion hydrates for a full 48 hours. Because a lot can happen in 48 hours. Dermatologists recommended Cetaphil. We do skin. You do you. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It's now just about 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Valentine's Day Wednesday with the Morning Sprint. Allison Martinez is giving us a live sneak peek of a new thrift store opening up in Spokane Valley today. Sydney Charles has details on a historic impeachment by the Republican-led House. But first, we're waking up to some dense fog again. Let's get over to Mark's forecast with what else you can expect today. Good morning, that dense fog advisory in effect until 8 a.m. this morning. Now, we are seeing very cold conditions in around our region with temperatures in the low to mid 20s. It's a frosty start, so if you parked outside, you might have frost on the windshield. Just be ready for that. Uh, forecast radar, yeah, we're going to stay pretty clear throughout the afternoon. We're going to have sunshine. Things look pretty nice, and then we're going to get some light snow coming in later on tonight, uh, about the time you're going to bed. High today is going to be 36 degrees. Spokane County voters are saying yes to school levies, but no to bonds. There are still votes to be counted today from the special election, but right now a Spokane Public Schools $200 million bond appears to be failing. It needs a supermajority of 60% to pass, and it only has a little more than 54% as of right now. 
And despite the bond's rejection, early results show more than half of voters said yes to the replacement levy. It would help fund programs and operation expenses, things like nurses, counselors, technology, athletics, and advanced courses. It'll cost taxpayers living in the district $250 per $1,000 of assessed property value each year. Our early returns show Central Valley's operation levy passing with 52% voting yes. This proposition would pay for teachers, special education, nurses, counselors, music, athletics, and extracurriculars, and cost taxpayers almost $44 million next year. For Central Valley's safety and facility levy, the early results showing it's passing with 51% saying yes. The proposition, too, asked for $7 million, which would be used to create the secure entrances, repair roofs, improve heating and cooling, enhance playgrounds, and upgrade technology. Voters in the growing Cheney School District had to decide on two different levies and a $72 million bond. The bond would allow the district to build a new elementary school in Airway Heights and make improvements at other schools. Right now, that bond appears to be failing. It needs a 60% supermajority to pass. Currently, only 54% are in favor. Cheney's $16 million levy to pay for school safety, athletics, arts and special education appears to be passing with 55% of the vote. That needs just a simple majority. And the $740,000 technology levy is passing right now as well with 58% of the vote. It also needs a simple majority. You can see the full list of election results on KXLY.com. For the first time in 150 years, the historic impeachment of a sitting cabinet member. The Republican-led House voted to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over his handling of the southern border. The House voted to impeach him by a single vote yesterday. But their effort is expected to die in the Democratic-led Senate, where Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calls the case a sham and a new low for House Republicans. This is the second attempt by House Republicans to impeach Mayorkas. Well, today we're hoping to learn more about a standoff that closed down Ash Street near Wabash in northwest Spokane yesterday. Police say a SWAT team was looking for a wanted person who was inside a home in that area. They did not tell us what the suspect is wanted for. Authorities eventually did break down the door and sent in a drone to find the person. You check for updates on our website, KXLY.com. This morning, we know the man shot by two police officers in downtown Spokane Monday afternoon has died. That shooting happened around noon in the area of Riverside and Howard. Police say they responded to reports of a suicidal man waving a knife at people on the sidewalks. Two officers eventually shot that man. Now this was the second deadly shooting involving Spokane police officers in the same day. And today, Mayor Lisa Brown will be holding a press conference to address crime and other public safety concerns. We'll have a full wrap-up from Mayor Brown's press conference tonight on 4 News Now at 5 and 6. You can also watch it live by downloading the KXLY News app or KXLY Plus for free on your connected TV. This morning, we've been showing you around Fitty Club. Now, this is a brand new thrift store coming to Spokane Valley on Sprague and Sullivan. Now, this has a unique model. You pay a one-time membership fee, and you have access to as many items as you'd like for 50 cents a piece. Today is opening day, so you can come on by, tour the store, and decide if you'd like to sign up for a membership. We have more information on our website, kxly.com. And check your refrigerator. Some salad kits are being recalled because they could be contaminated with listeria. The salad kits were processed on the same line as a cheese recently recalled for possible traces of listeria. The recalled products include Dole, President's Choice, and market-side brand salad kits. Anyone with the products are urged to discard them immediately. Well, we're back with the final check of weather in this hour coming up with Mark right after this. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Does anybody want my tomato? I don't know how anybody can eat those things. You do know ketchup is made from tomatoes, right? Ready for action? It's No Holds Barred as King of the Cage features new and upcoming MMA stars battling it out for the next big ticket fight. King of the Cage, live at Coeur d'Alene Casino, Thursday, February 15th. The winning is just the beginning. 
It's the Great Rate Reduction Sale at Dishman Dodge Ram Chrysler Jeep, where we are rolling back interest rates on our large selection of slightly used vehicles. Making it the perfect time to get a new vehicle for less. This week at Dishman. Oh, you gonna take me home tonight. Queen Nation, the ultimate tribute to the music of Queen, live at the Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, March 7th. Get your tickets now for the number one ranked Queen Tribute Act. The winning is just the beginning. <laughs> All right, the sun has been up for a whole minute, and we're seeing some blue sky, and that fog is going to burn off, and we're going to be looking pretty good. We are chilly. Temperatures into the mid-20s. We're going to warm up into the mid-30s. That's still a little below average. But on this Valentine's Day, it's the loves we have that will keep us warm. Uh, we'll see colder temperatures tomorrow. The snow will come in. About an inch expected for the Spokane area between tonight and again tomorrow afternoon. 32 will be the high tomorrow. And then we're going to be hovering around 40 with sunshine for Friday and partly cloudy conditions for Saturday. Sure have loved having you with us this morning mm -hmm. here. Sure. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you throughout the morning on GMA with local updates. It starts now.